and welcome to this episode of Psychic Medium, Tony G. I'm a psychic medium and channel and have been for as long as I can remember. I'm the author of five books, including Channeled Messages from Above. This is um, by far my favorite book so far. It has poems and messages from angels that I've channeled and put on the pages. Um, I also host a radio show, Messages from Above, on Blog Talk Radio, and uh, host another TV show on WSCS, Create a Life You Love. But my favorite thing to do in the world, my most favorite thing, my passion and my purpose, is helping people by giving them answers and helping them connect to their loved ones on the other side. I'm going to do that today with my guest, Madison. Hello. Hi, Madison. It's such an honor to have you here Thank today. you for having me. It's awesome. I'm so excited you're here. So, Madison, normally I say, I have a question. Uh, you can go ahead and ask your first question, but I need to tell you, there is somebody next to you on this side of the chair, and it's a male and very dark, very thick ha hair, very thick, very dark hair, and um, kind of that mid-age point. Hmm. Now, are you familiar with who this might be? I think it might be my uncle. He's like looked at me and did the nod. Oh, really? So, yeah, <laughs> so it's there. And there are other people there too. Um, I'm not seeing all of them. I see some, hear some, and uh, sense some. But he's the first person I saw. And there is a woman there, and she is elderly. And I, I'm going to say, in the lineage, this would be a grandmother. It could be a great grandmother. And also, I believe. This is from the mother's side of the family, if I am okay. hearing this correctly, because I'm hearing mother, 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 mm -hmm. okay? So I'm feeling like that, and she is kind of on the other side of this beautiful plant. Okay. <laughs> so they're both here to guide you and help you, and one of the first things I keep getting for you is travel. Travel, travel, travel. Yes. So before you even get to <laughs> ask a question, I'm going to just tell you, you are going to be taking um, between three and four trips okay. in the next bit of time. I want to say this could go out as far as a year, but I don't. Th I, th I think most of these trips might be done within nine months to a year. Okay. So if you decide to take that fourth one, it might be at the year mark. So and so this travel is some of it is going to be very spontaneous. <laughs> it really is, and you are going to be very excited about most of it. And one of these travels is I see a plane and water, so overseas. Okay. I'm feeling like it is going to be overseas or to another country, but um, but not like Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have a trip planned already. Um, I'm going in two weeks, so I'm going to Israel. Oh! Which so is there's... crazy that you said that. <laughs> yes, there it is. Yeah. It's going to be sensational. It's going to be phenomenal, sensational. Um, you know, they're saying take... Uh, memory cards okay because you're going to be taking so many pictures that you are going to just want to put them on like a, a, a flash drive or a memory okay. card and and put them away so you can just keep doing more and not um, worry about it yes <laughs> and the other thing they're saying is um, d don't okay when it comes to going places and seeing things mm -hmm. I have to specify that don't say no. Be open to every opportunity available. Be safe, of course. I say that to everybody. Um, but go and see everything you can possibly see and experience as much as you can while you're there. Okay. This trip has the potential to be life-changing for you. It's okay. going to change some views that you have about the world also, which is so great because that's bringing understanding in and helping your spirit to evolve. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to be so excited about that. You are, um, what's going to happen on this um, journey that you're about to take in, in two weeks, it, it is going to be very spiritual. Mm -hmm. You might not realize that as you're there. Okay. 
So while you're looking at certain things, all of a sudden your eye is gonna catch something else and so much knowledge is just gonna come in from this. It's going to help form the direction your life is going in. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yes. It's interesting that you said I'm gonna travel so much because that's kind of my plan so far, but I didn't know if I should settle down, but I think my heart is in not doing that yet. Oh, sweet girl, <laughs> you are such a gypsy soul, <laughs> right? Yes. Uh, you yes. love to be out and about and just seeing the world. Um, I had this belief when I was younger that the world was made so big mm -hmm. so that we could explore throughout our entire life. Yeah, okay? you'll never be able to see all of it. There's always exactly, more. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And For you sure. have that spirit about you too that the world is just a place to be explored. It's an adventure, it's in a journey, it's a journey waiting to happen. And you mm -hmm. are going to be this with, you know, within this year, you have the potential to take four phenomenal journeys. I'm not gonna call them vacations or trips, yeah. they're journeys. Mm -hmm. And each one will be better than the next because you're gonna be a little bit more confident on each one. Now, cool. some of these are going to be very spontaneous and just like pick, have a go bag ready. Yeah. <laughs> I say this for disasters and travel, have okay. a go bag ready because I feel like one of them is going to be very last minute. I feel like it might be with a male. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I I think so because that's what I'm seeing. I really hope so. um, and I feel like it's going to be very last minute um, or a surprise. Okay. So have a bag ready to go. And I feel like that is going to be just a journey that is very exciting. And again, so much growth opportunity awesome. coming in for you. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Well, that was kind of one of the questions I had actually was I have just graduated. Um, and I decided I wanted to go to nursing school, but I need some time in between uh, since I've just been in college and I needed some time to not be in school. Um, and so I didn't really know what I wanted to be doing in the meantime. So I have kind of like a two year, two year period that I'm not going to be going to school. So I thought maybe I wanted to be traveling, but I didn't know if that was just too spontaneous or you know not really my right path but yes um, absolutely over the next year travel as much as you can I not only see these bigger journeys coming in but I do see some smaller like weekend or midweek getaways also I feel like some of these trips or travels that you're going to be doing are going to change where you want the direction you want your life to go so you might right now say okay i'm coming in a year or two i'm going to be in nursing school mm -hmm. but i think some of the things that you see and some of the things that you learn help to form and really how do i say uh, it helps you to really get to the meat of what you want to do and who you want to be in your okay. life and i feel like um You know, I'm just going to say it, and you can laugh at me, <laughs> and that's okay. But I keep hearing politics, politics, political, politics, what? political, <laughs> politics, right? Okay. But as we grow, as we go through certain things in life, and as we grow, um, how we want to change and help the world mm -hmm. presents differently to us. Okay. So I feel like this trip coming up, this trip to Israel, is really going to help you say, wow, there's so much more to this world. Mm -hmm. And you're really going to look at, you know you want to give, but you're going to really look at how you can give. And I, I, I'm sorry, but I need to say this too. And whatever you decide mm -hmm. is, is you have free will and choice. I'm not the boss of you. Mm -hmm. I can just tell you what I'm hearing. Actually, I'm, I'm actually hearing some UN stuff, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. So, um, Interesting. It's, it, it will be. It, and, you know, I could sit and say this all day, and you could be like, sure, that's nice. But you're going to have an experience during your travels that's going to say, 
this is such a big world. I want to be a part of it in such a bigger way. Mm -hmm. And okay. that's going to be phenomenal for you. It's, it's really going to help you decide where you want to take your uh, education next. So it's, awesome. it's going to be very exciting. Yes, I'm do excited. travel. Uh, the reason you've been given this time and this opportunity is so that you can see other things and decide from there what you want to do with it. Yeah, that's what I was hoping that yes. that would do for me. So I'm glad that I also got confirmation. <laughs> yes, it is, it is. There are some things you need to see that are really gonna, it's gonna, it, it has the potential mm -hmm. to redirect where you, you're you going to go with your future, okay. which is good, so good. Wow, yes. awesome. Yes. Well, I guess another question that I kind of had was, um, if you think that my family life in the future will be um, like singular and then it'll be a smooth path, or if you think that I'm gonna have more of a rocky relationship, just because I have always had a thought that I'm gonna be a single mom, but I'm not, that's just a feeling, a gut feeling that I've had. Okay, so the first thing I'm getting, well, the first thing I hear is that that's your choice. Okay. So be um, proactive mm -hmm. in the area of, if you're not ready for that and that's not what you want, be very proactive in that area. Okay. Take the precautions you need to take. Um, you know, I can see that you are going to be traveling, you would love a career that allows you to do a certain amount of travel. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. <laughs> and so, you know, that uh, as we look at that, okay, as we look at that, um, they're saying, take your time getting to where you think you want to be. Okay. So um, bringing up the whole mom thing, take a little bit of time with that because it's, it's not impossible to pack up a toddler and take them on business meetings around the world. But difficult. <laughs> but it can be challenging, <laughs> right? Yeah. So what they're saying is, um, I feel like you will be in your 30s by the time that whole motherhood thing comes around. Now you do have free will. Mm -hmm. and you have choice, and you could fall in love with someone and say, I'm not going to travel, I'm going to do this now. But what I'm seeing is actually that 30 to 32 is going to be the time when that family structure really kicks in for you. That doesn't mean you're going to be single until then. Mm -hmm. You could even be with the person until then. But that whole being ready mm -hmm. might come in at that time. Okay. okay. Now, if it comes in sooner for you, that's awesome too. But they're saying um, whenever it comes in, you're going to be ready. And if you do it on your own, it's going to be a choice that you make because the person involved will want to be there and will want to be in. It will be up to you how much of an influence you let this person be in the life of the baby. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, it good. Does. Thank you. Excellent. Um, I guess another question that I had was surrounding um, my uncle that you saw. Yes. And I was just wondering if he had any, because I've always felt a connection with him. Um, he died when I was maybe four or five years old. Um, and he was in a coma and they were going to um, uh, pull the cord. And when I went up to say goodbye to him, he moved a little bit. And so that's just always a story that I've been told when I was little. And I kind of vaguely remember it, but I've always felt a strong connection with him. So I was wondering if there was anything he had to say or just any, anything that you see or feel with him. Yeah. Okay. So give me a second here because I want to make sure I get it correct. <clears throat> The first thing he wants to say is that you are such a tender soul. There's so much pureness and equality about you. And that you have this spirit and this drive that could literally light up the world if you'd let it. Oh, he's mm -hmm. so eloquent in the way he speaks of you. It's amazing. Um, when you, that did happen, his body moved, he would have hugged you if he could have. Mm -hmm. He would have, 
Oh, so sorry. He wants you to know that he has spent much time looking at your plan and understanding it for the greater good. And he does try to guide you in that direction, but nothing is forced upon you in mm -hmm. this world. You can, you're free to be and do what you want. He says that you are amazing and um, how far you have come in this life so far is, he's using the word outstanding. It's just <laughs> outstanding. And he says that uh, you feel the strong connection because he is there with you watching over as are some of the other, um, some of your other lineage that you might not be completely aware of. Um, and he is saying he will be on your travels with you mm -hmm. and you won't be alone. He wants you to look at everything. He says, eyes wide open, eyes wide open. Take it all in. The world is yours. Enjoy it that way. And there, there is such a strong connection because he does uh, stay close and try to guide you. And he will continue to also. He will continue to. Thank you. Yes, yes. I'm glad. I'm glad he's here. <laughs> yeah, he's he's a very good guy. Very good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I think the next thing that's kind of segmenting from that would be, I'm wondering if I'm on the right path that I'm meant to be where to learn or to teach others because I'm in such a, a term like interesting space right now between school and whatever I'm going to be doing after and I feel like I've kind of been in a lull and I want to make sure that I'm doing what I need to be doing to learn as a person for what I'm meant to be doing or teaching others or I don't know. <laughs> so okay so yes um, the way you see your path it is going straight there's a straight line right now you see everything happening in this, like they're using the word linear way. Mm -hmm. But, and, and taking this time off is extremely important because it's gonna help you open up your idea of how you can have an effect upon this world. Okay. So you, you do want to help people that's very important to you and you do want to exact change in this world. You just are not always sure of how you can do that yet, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So during this year, so many things are going to be shown to you. So your uncle's message, eyes wide open, mm -hmm. take it all in, the good, the bad, take it all in, is going to, by the time you get back, you will have gained much wisdom and you will have, you will know exactly what direction you want your life to go into okay. and what you want to do and how you want to do it, how you want to exact that change. You have so much passion within you and just this pureness and this sweetness about you. And when you see that some there's a cause or you are the type of person that can create the result of how to help where help is needed. So you taking this time off and taking this travel, it's not by co it's by coincidence, not by accident. Okay. So it's a part of the plan. Okay. How do you think they know there's gonna be three or four of them? Yeah. That's so crazy. that's that's, a um, lot. <laughs> that's important for you to understand. If okay. they know there's going to be three or four possible trips mm -hmm. that are going to help you to understand how you can exact change not only right here in your own area but possibly quite possibly throughout the world that is really what your heart calls for and right. that's what you'll you'll be shown some of that where the bigger needs are mm -hmm. okay all right well yes. thank you you're welcome that definitely speaks to me so i'm glad that i'm hearing it just as a more of a reassurance to what i've always what i've felt that i've been doing and needing to do and 
Now, I do want to say something. Earlier I said politics and UN. Now, what I do want to add is I feel like whatever you're going to be doing, you're going to be traveling um, pot potentially. Mm -hmm. Given the choices that you make, you're going to be traveling um, ac across borders for your work. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to be a politician. This might mean that you work with politicians or you work with the UN to exact the change that you're going to bring in. Within three to four months, you're going to have a pretty good idea of exactly what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And then within six to eight months, you're going to figure out how to do it. Okay. Okay. And these are uh, channels that you're going to use to help produce the results that you want and get everything up and running. Okay. Okay. So the trips are channels that uh, are the trips, the possible the trips are going to show you how you want to work or okay. what you want to do or the mm -hmm. change you want to make in the world. Mm -hmm. And then the the UN, the politicians, they might be channels that help you accomplish okay. what it is you want to accomplish. Yeah. Okay. Does that make a little yeah. bit of sense to you? No, definitely. Which is interesting because when you said politicians and the UN, my first thought was not that I would be in it, but that I'd be working with people. So that's funny that you yes. said that right So they did, they did come forward and they did uh, expand that mm -hmm. explanation for you. And yes, right on. If you, there are no limits to anything we want in this world. And you have the potential to create this really dynamic, almost foundation. Uh, and the foundation can be two meanings, a solid foundation that we stand on or a foundation that um, is like a charity. Um, okay. But you have the ability to create this foundation that will exact change not only here, but... Um, across the realms is the way they're saying it. Interesting. Okay. Yes. Wow. So oh, the next three to four months mm -hmm. will show you what you want to do, and then six to eight months will show you how to get it done. Okay. So whenever a Whenever a travel opportunity comes in, make sure that you are taking it. Because you might go one place and say, this needs to be done, but then you go to the next place and see how they're doing it. And then the next place, you might get even more resolve on how it can all be brought together. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you. Yes. Um, yeah, I think that, I guess, my other large question outside of career path um, and then my connection with my uh, uncle would be my love life because I'm just kind of curious <laughs> um, what you said that I was going to be going potentially somewhere with a man a spontaneous trip um, okay so I do have to ask are you involved with someone romantically right now yes. okay does he have kind of lighter hair than you slightly yeah okay he has like a, a, a regular build, a nice, yeah. a nice build, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to compliment him too much. He's, he's so, <laughs> so I feel like this trip will be with him. I feel like there's the potential for this trip to be with him. I do feel like you two have a very, um, the terms they're using right now are very charismatic. Okay. And, uh, and somewhat romantic at times. Uh, situation going on okay, okay? and um, you are going to find yourself um, understanding more about him over the next three months okay okay now without uh, going too too deep into it um, I'm just asking them some questions right now about the situation. What they're saying right now is um, he is a he is a good person, okay. But they're saying within a couple of months you're going to understand that you your whole focus is going to change. 
Okay. Your whole focus within that three to four month mark, your focus is really going to change. And uh, not that he won't be there, but you're, you're going to be so focused on this, you're not going to care <laughs> who is going to be there okay. in uh, taking the journey with you. Um, this relationship has the potential to go far. And I don't like to state absolutes mm -hmm. because we do have free will and we have choice and we can, like I told one girl who came to see, see me, yes, this is, there is the potential for marriage here. And she went home and broke up with the guy and I was like, okay, so you're afraid of commitment. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Yeah. Why would you? <laughs> she uh, and and uh, they did end up making up, and and she did kind of uh, explain that to him. She freaked out for a bit. So I don't like to state with certainty because we're human. We have mm -hmm. the ability to make choices. This relationship does have the potential to go very far, and when somebody knows that, they tend to skip steps, and they tend to be. Uh, okay, it's gonna it's gonna end like this. Let's just get it over with. No, there are things that we have to experience and go through, and a journey that we have to take with this person. So what I'll tell you is this has the potential to go very far. But then again, you have free will, and uh, in the next couple of months, you're gonna be so focused on this other area of your life and what you want. Um, that that you're not going to worry so much about the relationship end, but it it is a good situation. It is a very good situation, is what I can tell you. Okay. Well, thank you. And he he adores you. That's <laughs> the word they're using. He adores you. So and he likes to surprise you and treat you. He likes to treat you special. That's the best way that they can say that for you is. Like he likes to treat you very, <clears throat> excuse me, he likes to treat you very, very special. So we have about two minutes left. That's time for a quick yes or no answer question if you okay. have one. Um, am I gonna have children? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, you are, you will. And I wanna say there's the potential for you to have up to three children, but you'll probably have two. All right. And then a pet. <laughs> For sure. Well, thank you For so sure. much. And I feel like that, again, that's going to start right a, a little bit down the line for you. It's not going to start right now because you're going to be very, very focused on uh, creating this foundation, let's call it, right. and working from within those parameters. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. It's just been such an honor to have you on today. Thank you for letting me do this reading on you. It's been amazing. And, uh, and I, I just love it. Your, your, uh, your uncle just wants to quickly say that he loves you and he'll be with you every step of the way, pointing the direction that you should go next. So listen to that little guidance that you get every once in a while, okay? Okay, I will. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us for this episode of Psychic Medium, Tony G. I am so grateful to be able to do this work and bring it to you. I'm uh, here every uh, once a month, and my radio show is every Monday at noon. Thank you, and have an amazing rest of your day.